guys, what is up? It is I, the Comfy Catwalk. I am a reseller that loves thrifting, pre-love, designer, vintage, new, nearly new, you name it, estate selling. I love it. To my catwalkers, mwah, welcome back to a new video. Those of you who are newly subscribed to my channel, thank you for subscribing and joining me. You guys, this week, I have a little bit of show and tell. Mix of high and low. I'm gonna show you what I like to do when I am looking for things for myself. This isn't about thrifting. This is just about going into places where it's either a little on the high end side or it's on the low low like the dollar store. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. So don't get me wrong when I say that. I love those kind of places. You name it, I like to go to it. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. Some of it is makeup, not a lot. You know this, I, I'm not doing a unboxing of any of this stuff because these are things that I have picked up. Some of them I have worn, others obviously I haven't worn. I'm just gonna show you the high low mix of where I've been and what I got. Here we go. What I really wanna start with is this. Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. And this is color 14C in a deep rosewood color. I actually really like this. You can see, and I'll hold it so you can see it if you want to screenshot it. I'm not a makeup, heavy makeup user type of a person. I like certain things that are gonna give me staying power. And I kept reading reviews about this and this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip is one that I just kept seeing and seeing and seeing. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to Sephora and I pick this up for $20. You guys, this is a lip liner, but it can be used as a lip stick because this will stay on regardless of what you do. You can have drinks, you can have water, you can literally eat with this and very minimal loss to coverage. If you're looking for a good lip liner to use as a lip color, the Makeup Forever is the way to go. This is waterproof. This is called the Aqua Lip. So I would say if you are in the market for something like this, this is something to consider. There are a plethora of colors and look, yeah, you get it. The next thing that I want to show you guys, I want to share with you guys, I found at the dollar store. I'm a big fan of the dollar store because they have some of the most unpredictable things that you would ever, never, possibly, maybe, potentially consider there. I was strolling through the accessories aisle because I was looking for hair ties and I came across these star hair clips and I am so stoked. I am so excited to be able to wear these. They are like these pearlized stars. They are too cute. And basically what you do is you pull it off and you can like sit it in your hair, just like this. You you get the point. I don't want to like do it, do it, but you get the point. You like put it in your hair. There you go. So cute, right? These were one dollar, you guys. One dollar. You can stack them by each other, or you can wear them individually. But these are adorable. Check the dollar store accessories department. Cute stuff like this, all for a buck. In my area, there is a place called Gabriel Brothers. And maybe in some other videos, you've seen me talk about Gabriel Brothers, but they are a discount wholesaler where they get buyouts of clothes, they get buyouts of furniture, paintings, home goods. You, listen, okay? If, if, if you're in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area, you may want to carry yourself, or somewhere up and down the East Coast, you may want to carry yourself to Gabriel Brothers. I'm always thinking about everything. And so I happened to be in Gabriel Brothers and I was thinking, oh, wouldn't it be fun to have something nice and fluffy for the upcoming fall? Yeah, fall is coming. We're not there, but hey, tis the season for the fashion reason. I was looking through Gabriel Brothers and I came across Iris Apfel Marabou Jacket. You guys, I am in love with this. It is so fluffy. It is the biggest, most comfortable, luxurious thing. So I saw this hanging there on the rack. So I decided, I was like, okay, well, let me see what's happening. I pick it up. You guys, I scored this 
for $9.99. So this collection came out, mm, I wanna say in maybe 2018, the beginning of 2019. So, oh my God, you guys, when I tell you I love this, I love this so much. This jacket retailed somewhere around upwards of about $200, if I am correct. But I was able to score this. I have one in your area. You might want to see if you can't find this. I am stoked and I cannot wait to wear this. Second thing that I want to show you that I was able to score from Gabriel Brothers is a pair of sunglasses. You guys know I am a huge sunglass fanatic. Doesn't matter if they're super high end or if they're super, super $3.99, which is what these were. I like these because they give a modern interpretation to shield sunglasses and they are just on. I cannot believe that I picked these up off the sunglass circle, circular, listen, okay? The sunglass circular is what I call it. When you twirl around and it goes, these were there, these were $3.99. They look much more expensive than the $3.99 that I paid for them. And I am super stoked about the fact that I found them. They have gold detail on the inside and they just have a muted tortoise shell for the arms. And these are fantastic. I love them. Next thing that I want to show you guys, and I'm gonna kind of gloss over these because I already wore them and this isn't even about a reveal. But I was fortunate enough to find a pair of dad sandals. I had been looking and looking and looking and I finally found a pair of dad sandals. I am not going to go into detail about these dad sandals because I think you guys have seen them all before and this is not a video about unboxing. Maybe I'll do that at another point in time. But you guys, let me tell you something about these dad sandals and I'm going to put them right here. When people say how comfortable they are, they are not kidding. When I went looking for these dad sandals, I specifically wanted the black on black because to me, I feel like you get the most bang for your buck when you are looking to try and mix and match different things to wear, whether it be socks or some type of skirt, some type of dress. I just wanted ease of use with these considering their price tag. I picked these up on TradeZ and was able to get them for $1,825. Let's move on. The next thing that I want to show you guys is in this cute little bag. You guys know I am a huge fan of off Saks Fifth Avenue and Saks Fifth Avenue, but specifically off Fifth Saks. Let me show you this. I had the opportunity to visit off Fifth Saks and I was able to score this gorgeous lace and velvet dress. When I picked this up and I ended up looking at the price tag of this dress, I ended up getting this dress for $9.97 and this dress retailed for 275 US dollars, okay? This dress, oh my God, I'm gonna show you so you can see the label inside. It is lace, it is velvet. This is so, so gorgeous. More in love with the fact that it was on sale. I'm gonna say this to you. When you are out and about and you go into different places, I don't care if it's at the dollar store, I don't care if it's Saks Fifth Avenue, whatever it may be, take your time and look, look, look for things. You never know when you pick it up what the price tag is gonna be. You never know when you walk into Neiman Marcus or you walk into Neiman's Last Call or you walk into Saks Fifth Avenue or All Fifth, no matter what, look 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 and look at things however you choose to do it but i'm simply saying this really nice things do not have to come from the most expensive places and really nice things in expensive places do not have to cost an arm and a leg when you go out shopping it's more than just keeping an open mind it's also paying attention to the dollars and cents I typically like to shop sales, I like to shop thrift, I like to shop thrift 
sale. To me, it is a combination of the thrill of the hunt and it's also a combination of you keep an open mind on a budget. When I get dressed, if I put something on and the bag happens to be $3,000 and the shoes were, you know, $2.50 from the thrift store, I love that. Or if I put a dress on and the dress was $600, but the sunglasses I'm wearing were only three dollars but but the whole outfit looks like a million bucks I love that I want to share with you guys how I do it and I'm also trying to you know I want to get I want to know from you guys in the comments below what would you like to see do you want to see how I shop do you want to see what I think about when I'm in that process and I'm looking for something I typically do not shop within the season I always shop out of season sometimes if it's in the season and there's some things that I see that I would like to have, I will pick those things up. But typically I'm shopping outside of the season. So if it's summer, I'm shopping for winter. And if it's winter, I'm shopping for the upcoming warmer weather. You guys, I just wanted to pop in, show you some things, share with you some things. Let me know in the comments below what you do, what you think, how do you do your thing, and what would you like to see from me. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. My channel is growing. You guys who are newly subbed here, I thank you. Thank you so much. And as always, please be safe. And I will see you all next Sunday. Bye for now.